the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 21. The word which came unto Jeremiah from the Lord when King Zedekiah sent unto him Pashur the son of Meltiah and Zephaniah the son of Mashiah the priest, saying, Inquire, I pray thee, of the Lord for us, for Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, makes war against us. If so be that the Lord will deal with us according to all his wondrous works, that he may go up from us. Then said Jeremiah unto them, Thus shall ye say to Zedekiah, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Behold, I will turn back the weapons of war that are in your hands, wherewith ye fight against the king of Babylon and against the Chaldeans, which besiege you without the walls, and I will assemble them into the midst of this city. And I myself will fight against you with outstretched hand and a strong arm, even in anger and in fury and in great wrath. And I will smite the inhabitants of this city, both man and beast, that shall die of a great pestilence. And afterward said the Lord, I will deliver Zedekiah, king of Judah, and his servants and the people, and such that are left in his city from the pestilence, from the sword and from the famine, unto the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and into the hand of their enemies, and into the hand of those that seek their life. And he shall smite them with the edge of the sword. He shall not spare them, neither have pity nor mercy. And unto this people thou shalt say, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I set before you the way of life and the way of death. He that abides in this city shall die by the sword, and by the famine and by the pestilence. But he that goes out and falls into the Chaldeans that besiege you, he shall live, and his life shall be unto him for a prey. For I have set my face against this city for evil, and not for good, says the Lord. It shall be given unto the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall burn it with fire. And touching the house of the king of Judah, say, Hear ye the word of the Lord. O house of David, thus says the Lord, execute judgment in the morning and deliver him that is spoiled out of the hand of the oppressor. Lest my fury go out like fire and burn that no one can quench it because of the evil of your doings. Behold, I am against thee, O inhabitant of the valley and rock of the plain, says the Lord, which say, who shall come down against us or who shall enter into our habitations? But I will punish you according to the fruit of your doings, says the Lord. And I will kindle a fire out of the forest thereof, and it shall devour all things round about it. Chapter 22 Thus says the Lord, Go down into the house of the king of Judah, and speak there this word, and say, Hear the word of the Lord, O king of Judah, that sits upon the throne of David, thou and thy servants and thy people that enter in by these gates. Thus says the Lord, Execute ye judgment and righteous, and deliver the spoiled out of the hand of the oppressor, and do no wrong. Do no violence to the stranger, the, <coughs> the fatherless, nor the widow, neither shed innocent blood in his place. For if ye do this thing indeed, then shall there enter in by the gates of this house the kings sitting upon the throne of David, riding in chariots and on horses, he and his servants and his people. But if ye will not hear these words, I swear by myself, says the Lord, that this house shall become a desolation. For thus says the Lord unto the king's house of Judah, Thou art Gilead unto me, and the heart and the head of Lebanon. Yet surely I will make thee a wilderness and cities which are not inhabited. I will prepare destroyers against thee, every one with his weapons, and they shall cut down thy choice cedars and cast them into the fire. And many nations shall pass by this city, <clears throat> and they shall say unto every man to his neighbor, Wherefore has the Lord done this unto this great city? And they shall answer, Because they have forsaken the covenant of the Lord their God, and worshipped other gods, and served them. Weep ye not for the dead, neither bowmen him, neither bemoan him, but weep sore for him that goes away, for he shall return no more, nor see his native country. For thus says the Lord touching Shalom, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, which reigned instead of Josiah his father, which went forth out of this place. He shall not return thither any more, but he shall die in the place where they have led him captive, and shall see this land no more. Woe unto them that build this house by unrighteousness, and his chambers by wrong, that uses his neighbor's service without wages, and gives him not for his work. That says, 
I will build me a wide house and large chambers and cut him out windows and it is sealed with cedar and painted with vermilion. Shalt thou reign because thou clothed thyself in cedar? Did not thy father eat and drink and do judgment with justice? And then it was well with him. He judged the cause of the poor and needy and it was well with him. Was not this to know me, says the Lord? But thine eyes and thine heart are not to but for the covenantsness and for to shed innocent blood, and for oppression, and for violence to do it. Therefore thus says the Lord concerning Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, they shall not lam lament for him, saying, Ah, my brother, or ah, sister. They shall not lament for him, saying, Ah, Lord, or ah, his glory. He shall be buried with the burial of a donkey, drawn and cast forth beyond the gates of Jerusalem. Go up to Lebanon and cry, and lift up thy voice in Bashan, and cry for the passengers, for all the lovers are destroyed. I speak unto thee in prophecy, but thou said, I will not hear. This has been my manner from thy youth, and my obeys not my voice. I wind, the wind shall lead up all thy pastors, and thy lovers shall go into captivity. Surely then shall thou be ashamed and confounded for all the wickedness. O inhabitant of Lebanon, that makes thy nest in thy cedars, how gracious shalt thou be when pangs came upon thee, the pain of a woman in travail. As I live, says the Lord, through Coniah, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, where the sinnet upon my right hand, yet would I pluck thee thence, and I will give, un and I will give thee into the hand of them that seek thy life, and into the hand of of them whose face thou fears, even into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and into the hand of the Chaldeans. And I will cast thee out, and thy mother shall bear thee into another country where ye were not born, and there shall ye die. But the land whereunto they desire to return, thither shall they not return. Is this man Coniah, a despised broken idol? Is he a vessel wherein there is no pleasure? Wherefore are they cast out, he and his seed, and are cast into a land which they know not? O oh, earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, Write ye this man childless, a man that shall not prosper in his days, for no man of his seed shall prosper, sitting upon the throne of David, and ruling any more in Judah. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you with all my heart. In your loving name I pray, amen.